Okay, this is uh, my first video, and this is going to be a how-to on flames for a miniature fireplace that I'm working on. What I've done is I've installed some lights in a, uh, a piece of wood, and the LED lights, there's actually two rows of them. One row is just the uh, flaming lights that flicker, and those will be in the front. Of the fireplace and then the other one is the red lights here with a changing light in the center so what I've done is I have added a substance it's a uh, company called Bondic I believe this is uh, something they use in dentistry. And I saw it on the internet, decided to get it and see if I could use it for some repairs. And I discovered this beautiful use for making flames. What I do those, I have two or three of them handy because um, I do go through a lot of it. And I try to keep them tipped down so um, as to be ready for use. And the other thing I also do is I cut the tips down at different sizes. And the reason I do that is the, obviously the more you cut it down, the thicker the base is going to be. Then I go to the thinner ones. So this one here being the thickest one, I'll give you an example. Then you have your UV light. The UV light um, hardens the, the material. So I'm going to drip it down here. And this again is the thicker one and this helps me to get a base the closer I have the light the quicker it's going to harden obviously so I get a base going and you know the thing is you're going to mess up it, 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 sometimes it's going to drip down no big deal it all connects and get that base going And this light doesn't seem to be as strong. I've, that's the other thing is I have plenty of UV lights handy. I even have a larger one here. That I can put on there if need be. Let's try this one. Now, you know, I've got a pretty good area here. I'm going to go down to a smaller smaller size now that i got my base in. And, and what I do too is I also cross over the flames to connect to the other lights, which uh, makes for great refraction of the light. So here we go. And you can see how it grows. So cool once you get it going. It's kind of get a rhythm going. Sometimes there seems to be a little inconsistency. You might have to flip over to another one. Also, the tip could get clogged up, you know, harden on you. I just usually flick it. And I'll connect these two, see what happens here. In between the spaces, I will lay some wood down to make it look like a, like a fireplace. Let's see if we can get a little notch going here. I want to cross this over. You know, I've tried holding it upside down and drip, letting it drip. But what ends up happening is you get the thicker end at the top of the flame. It usually gets a thick tip on it from where it's dripping versus uh, you want the thick end, obviously, at the bottom. So you see this flame here, this flame here. I'm going to connect these two together. Might take a couple minutes get the rhythm going sometimes it's tough but any mistake can be turned into something really awesome I don't believe in mistakes when I'm doing things like this even when I'm painting or doing my miniatures because usually my mistakes gives me new give me new ideas and I just feed off of that here you go, you can see how these two are connected. So I got the one that changes colors. 
connected to the one that has the orange flames. And this will continue until I feel comfortable with my flames. And then I'll add the wood, of course. This one's getting a little thick here. I got a good base going. So we got one, two, three, four prongs going on that one. And we might have to thicken this up if we want to cross it over. I'm not going to cross these two over, I don't think. I'm going to, but I am going to cross the other one over. But I'm going to make this a little taller, taller, taller. Once it starts hardening, you can pretty much manipulate it if you're once you get used to it. I will expand off of these flames, little ones on the side. Let me see if I can make one here for you. See what I If you do get stuck on there, if you twist it, it'll come off. All right. So I'll add in the little touches later once I get the foundation. But the little touches will be little extender flames, flames maybe rolling off the uh, off the wood. Let's see how those extended out. Excuse me for my terms I make up. That's something I like to do. All right, and you see my hand shaking. That's from about three cups of coffee. And you can also see one of my fish tanks in the back. I have four tanks all together, and that's one of my smaller ones. I do have a 70 gallon tank. I do make miniature fish tanks, special orders. I get a lot of orders for fish tanks. I love doing it. My fish tanks look real and people will ask me they'll think that I make real fish tanks and they'll mistaking my little miniature shop for real real furniture real fish tanks and they ask me questions which I cannot answer or I explain to them that the stuff I do is miniature work <laughs> and they think it's full-size work and I don't understand because it's all over my site Miniature, 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 but they still ask. All right, we're going to extend this one over here. Oh. Nope, made a mistake there, mistake, fine. Turn it into something different. All right, so I'll just. Getting that funky consistency now for some reason. Sometimes it hardens quickly, sometimes it doesn't. You have to keep adjusting your UV lights. Now, we do have a little circle there, which I don't like, so i cut that off right here. Get rid of that. that. That is not a natural flame. Let's look at it from the top here so you can see what I'm doing. Back it up. All right, let me show you the fireplace that it's going to go into. This is like a modern type fireplace. See the tiles back here. And this right here will be placed inside of here. Wires will come through here. This will be covered and there'll be switches on each side to turn it on. So let's, let's check it out real quick. Let's stick it inside of here and see what we got. All right, let me, uh, so she got a nice reflection in the back. See that? See how the back reflects? Actually, I got that backwards, by the way. The, uh, the orange will be in the back. I have it the other way around right now. So, but you can kind of get an idea. Now, there will also be a railing here with uh, plexiglass and over here as well. This is the second type of model I made like this. The first one went to a gentleman in Mobile, Alabama who's making a custom dollhouse. He gets his um, objects or his uh, items all over the world and he spends meticulous time doing this. And he really enjoys my work. I just also did a custom aquarium for him, for him that's gonna actually go 
inside of a um, wall. All right. Now, again, when I'm done this whole thing, you're going to see wood in there. And uh, I will show you the finished product. But again, the, uh, the material that I use is awesome. It's called Bondic. The, uh, I get it off of Amazon. Also, you can get it right from the company. And they have also have uh, how-to videos. It can be used for, um, gosh, repairing glasses and all sorts of things. And if, I use, if you use a Dremel on it, it's great. It'll harden up more. And you can mold into a piece. I had a heating pad that had a notch on it for the, for the handle. And I replaced it because it broke off. And uh, I've used it for a lot of things, actually. So just check it out. Um, they're, you know, like I said, on Amazon. They also have their own site as well. Thank you for watching my video, and you have a great day.